Well, to many, she was the queen of disco, Donna Summer, whose name evokes images of dance floors and mirror balls, died this morning in Florida. She'd been battling cancer. The CBC's Deanna Sumanak has this look at Summer's life and legacy. And women who work hard for their money. With her big hair and even bigger voice, Donna Summer had the look and the sound of the late 1970s. Her music was everywhere, including disco era Montreal, the site of Funky Town, a recent film written by Steve Galluccio. Then it was bigger than life. It had taken on. Donna Summer was the goddess, you know. She was uh, bigger than anything. Love to love you, baby. The controversial one was love to love you, baby. At the time, for her actually to, to sort of simulate an orgasm in the studio and have that on the radio was incredibly controversial. And I think it really opened up that whole era of sexual freedom. But as the 70s gave way to the 80s, it was a sobering time for Summer. She became a born again Christian and stopped performing her risque songs. Summer. Around this time, Summer outraged many of her gay fans when she allegedly called AIDS a punishment for homosexuality. She denied ever making the comments and eventually reclaimed her status as an icon in the gay community. So Summer continued to perform till 2008. Today, she's being remembered as an artist whose disco dazzle concealed something far more soulful. Her vocals on MacArthur Park are outstanding vocals and there's so much pathos and passion and, and sadness in them and I think a lot of that came from her spirit. Donna Summer was 63. Thank you. Deanna Sumanak, CBC News, Toronto.